the long-awaited Augustan University has finally come to stay, an event which drew members of the Catholic denomination, the clergy, the laity, students, personalities from government, the business world, the academia, and the likes, was one which has set the ball rolling for the start-off of academic programs of the institution. It was the inauguration of Augustine University, Ilara, in Akwe, Lagos State of Nigeria. The program which took place at the Augustine University main campus in Ilara, Akwe, in Lagos State on Friday, 23rd of October, began with a Thanksgiving Mass. The event had in attendance notable figures from all walks of life, especially the Catholic community and their friends and the monarch of Ilara Ipe, His Royal Highness Oba Desanya, who was supported by a number of other chiefs from the area. In the welcome address delivered by Monsignor John Aniago, who is the Chancellor of Augustine University, he congratulated all those who have played important roles in the realization of the establishment of Augustine University. He singled out the selfless contribution of the late Sir Mola de Okoya Thomas, whose loss early in the year was very devastating to the Catholic community. Monsignor John Aniago also saluted the vision of His Eminence Anthony Cardinal Okoje, Archbishop Emeritus of Lagos, and the project initiator. He called for more support to complete the projects still remaining. In the Roman Catholic Church, we wish to announce our decision to move to the next higher level with the establishment of a full-fledged university. We believe that the time for that has come and it is now. The order of worship of the Catholic Church was duly observed at the Thanksgiving Mass held for the opening of St. Augustine University. In the sermon, he intimated the audience on the whole idea surrounding the establishment of the university. He asked everyone to see the university as theirs. This is to ensure that all hands are on deck for a successful attainment of his prospects as a university which has come to compete favorably with other universities in Nigeria. It is intended that the Augustan University keeps strictly to the tenets of the Christian values of learning and character. He backed up his presentation with some portions of the Holy Scriptures. The building of the Augustine University, which took a whole seven years to complete, will start accommodating prospective students for the various academic programs in a week's time. It is true that a great deal of human effort went into the planning and execution of the Augustine University project. But all that effort would have come to naught if the Lord had not been behind it. The 21st of October 2008 saw the conception of the idea of Augustine University by the Emeritus Archbishop of Lagos, Most Reverend Anthony Cardinal Okoje. The conception of the vision of Augustine University coincided with the fifth anniversary celebration of his assumption to the office of Cardinal in the Catholic Church. The commitment of the Church generally in the area of education cannot go unnoticed. With the establishment of the Augustine University at Ilara in Akwe area of Lagos by the Catholic Church, like other academic institutions created and administered by the Church, it is yet another way to show its age-long dedication to education. It is not leaving any stone unturned to adequately partner the government and even do much more in ensuring that qualitative education is given to the citizenry. The Augustine University, whose motto is learning and character, has its vision as the making of the total person, with a mission to develop well-rounded persons who will be role models and leaders in the society. Its philosophy, of course, will be to epitomize the noble tradition of Catholic higher education in seeking to achieve intellectual, moral, and spiritual excellence. Most Reverend Alfred Adewale Martins took time to pray for the men and women of substance chosen to administer the institution. In the remarks of the Apostolic Nuncio to Nigeria, 
and representative of the Pope, His Excellency Augustine Kasuja. He appreciated the good dreams of the Emeritus Archbishop, which has become a reality for all to celebrate. He enjoined the management and staff of the Augustine University to use the resources at their disposal to bring out the best in all fronts. Considering the high fees demanded by private universities in Nigeria, the Pope's representative called for the scholarship sponsorship to take care of indigent prospective individuals. A dream that corresponds to the mission of the church, not only to teach the region, the Bible, catechism, but also to work for the human development, especially the education of our people. The vote of thanks was given by the Archbishop of Lagos, His Grace Alfred Adewale Martins, at the Holy Mass celebration. Done with the Holy Mass, the Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Kimumi Ambode, unveiled the plaque as a way to officially commission the Augustine University in Lara Ekwe. He was accompanied to also perform the planting of the commemorative tree at the venue. The second part of the event was the inauguration of the university. In the opening remarks of the Chairman Board of Trustees, Sir Steve Omojafo, he went down memory lane on how the great vision has become a reality. He then advised for more support from everyone to see that the great project fulfills its mandate. Today is again, again the day the Lord has made and we are glad and rejoice in it. On behalf of the proprietor, his Grace, the Archbishop of Lagos, Dr. Alfred Adewale Martins, the Archbishop Emeritus and Initiator of the University Project, His Eminence Anthony Cardinal Okoje, the Board of Trustees, the Governing Council, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Stephen Afolami, the Chancellor, Very Reverend John Anyagu, and all the principal officers of this brand new university, Ilara Ekwem, it gives me immense pleasure to help Tilly welcome all of you as special guests to today's event. Next to speak were the Vice Chancellor of St. Augustine University, Professor Steve Afolami. He appreciated all donors to the St. Augustine University's project, soliciting for more support. He used the occasion to give a four-year notice to His Excellency Vice President Yami Oshibajo to the university's first convocation ceremony. In order to help appreciate the demands of running a private university as it applies anywhere in the world, Professor Steve Afolami drew the attention of everyone to the challenges and exigencies involved. Therefore, according to the Vice Chancellor, the onus lies on them to help the management team deliver on their set mandate, hopefully. The Catholic Church has always stood out very clearly in funding and managing educational institutions. It has started out beautifully in the case of Augustine University. The indications are that it will pursue the set goals with strict adherence to the university law and statutes as enshrined in the academic brief and the university law. We, the staff, have no doubt that the proprietor representing the Archdiocese of Lagos will form the university to achieve its set goals while patiently waiting for the thorny bush to produce beautiful roses with charming fragrance. That is the stuff of which the Catholic Church is made and we are exceedingly proud of her. The event of inauguration of the Augustine University featured tributes to the life of selfless service to God and man by Sir Molade Okoya Thomas who was said to have inspired and led many other donors to raise most of the funds used to bring the Augustine University's project to fruition. The tribute in his memory was presented by the alternate chairman of the Augustine University Inauguration Planning Committee, Dame Winnie Akpani. First and foremost, I see Chief Okoya Thomas, the family man. 
We all know how selflessly he loved his nuclear family. Beyond this, he had so many social and religious families because he loved and cared for people. For the Augustine University Fundraising Committee family, I cannot find the words to adequately describe Chief Okoya Thomas. Is it his courage, humility, generosity, respectfulness or respectability, his great love for all, every event, meeting, fundraising, dinner, or even individual family events was full of love and excitement. Sad attractions at the event had traditional performances from a woman group from the Southeast and a Benin cultural troupe from Edo State who brought the cultural touch to bear on it. This later saw the emeritus Archbishop of Lagos, Antony Cardinal Okoye, share his dreams that propelled the setting up of the university, as it were, and this was a moment to relieve for everyone present. I therefore announced my intention to take the next logical step, that of establishing a full-fledged university in the High Diocese of Lagos. The proposed university will be named Augustine University after a distinguished African ecclesiastic and scholar of the 4th and 5th centuries, St. Augustine of Hippo, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. My announcement was well received, not just within the Catholic circles, but by the civil authorities in Lagos State as well. I recall that in company with several eminent personalities of the Archdiocese of Lagos, we had an audience with His Excellency, the then Governor of Lagos State. His Excellency was very pleased and promised us every support from his government, and for this, we are grateful. In the goodwill message from General Fufius Danjuma, retired, he thanked the initiator, Anthony Cardinal Okoje, for his great dream of raising a university. He also appreciated the successor, Alfred Martins, who did not hesitate to bring it to completion. For this laudable project, the construction of a university whose mission is to develop well-rounded persons who will be role models and leaders in the society is extremely commendable and it is a mission that all of us should support. More support were called for by him from meaningful individuals for that just cause. He hoped that the university, in the shortest possible time, will rank amongst the best worldwide, as he also assured of his kind contribution whenever such demand arises. In the words of the Archbishop Alfred Martins, he assured that the Augustine University will provide the very best for anyone who seeks its learning and character building standards. As a clergyman who understands the essence of gratitude, he warmly thanked everyone, the government of Lagos State, the good people of the host community, few Catholic parishes, and all other donors in their numbers. The mother of the day and new development partner, Lady Doja Otedola, gave her remarks. One most striking part of her remarks was her call for the immortalization of the late Molade Okoya Thomas. Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Kim Miambode, an indigen of Ekwe, where the institution is cited, gave his remark at the occasion. He showed his appreciation to the Catholic Church for the establishment of first-class schools spread across the state. He added his voice to the fact that the institution will better position the community for good. Mr. Kim Miambode, whose administration has also carried out some fine-tuning works on public schools in the state, believed that with such concerted effort by the church, the standards of university education in Nigeria will be raised. The significance of this event goes well beyond just the inauguration of this institution, but to the realization of the vision of the Catholic Archdiocese of Lagos to create an educational institution that will serve as an inspirational model to students, faculty, staff, community, and above all, 
our country in the years ahead. There's no doubt the establishment of this university will bring numerous benefits to the immediate and surrounding communities. Economic and other activities are expected to be accelerated and we expect to begin to witness the setting up of new businesses with potentials of creating employment and other opportunities for the people who are in this community. The Vice President's remarks were delivered by his representative, the Vice Chancellor of National Open University of Nigeria, Professor Vincent Telebe. The Vice President gave his words of encouragement to the Catholic Church for its wise investments in education, while also promising government's readiness to support quests for education advancement. Vice President says his congratulations to the Augustine University, the Board of Trustees, the Governing Council, and all staff and students of the university on this occasion. And I am to inform you that the federal government is very pleased and very happy with the initiatives taken, and equally very happy with the Lagos State Government because the government is very supportive. This is wishing the management and staff of the Augustine University, Lara Ekwe, and the Catholic Church a smooth sail through the world of university education. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. St. Augustine, pray for us.